Over the weekend, Boise State announced the hiring of their new athletic director, Jeremiah Dickey. This week, Boise State President Marlene Trump introduced their new ad to the public. Dickey comes to Boise from Baylor University, where he has served as the Associate Vice President for the Intercollegiate Athletics. During his press conference, Dickey spoke on the importance of family, his excitement to be part of the Bronco Nation, and the process of hiring a new head football coach. Um, I, I joke about pressure, and, and I, I feel none. Um, I know that uh, the, who we are and what we represent um, uh, represents itself and, and sells itself. And so uh, I'm very excited and, and uh, I welcome the opportunity and quite honestly it, it made it uh, and I commend, you know, Dr. Trump and Randy and the committee for, for choosing uh, the path of, of hiring the athletic director first and, and, and then uh, going down the road of a head coach because that relationship is going to be uh, instrumental in our, in our future success. Both the Idaho State men and women start a two-game series against Northern Arizona tomorrow. The Lady Bengals are currently in first place in the Big Sky Conference, facing off against the Lumberjacks, who are currently number two. The ISU men will be back out on the court after having both of their games against Weber State canceled due to COVID-related issues last week. ISU is four and five so far this season as they travel to face the three and six NAU Lumberjacks. Well, after changing their mascot last year to the Timber Wolves, Teton High School introduced their new logo today. The Teton High School board voted to retire the Redskins mascot in 2019. This past summer, the high school students chose the Timber Wolves as a new mascot, but the logo wasn't released until today. School alumni created the new logo, which includes three of the Teton Mountains in the Wolves' mane. T-shirts, hats, and masks with variations of the Timberwolf logo are now available for purchase. And the Boston Red Sox made history this week by hiring Bianca Smith as a minor league hitting coach. That makes Smith the first black female coach in professional baseball history. The 29-year-old brings an emphasis on biomechanics and was recently an assistant coach at Carroll University. Smith joined the Today Show this morning to discuss her new role with the team and her place in sports history. I mean, some of the comments I've actually gotten about uh, women not being able to coach mm -hmm. is actually what drives me to work mm -hmm. even harder. But also, that's just kind of how I was raised. In our family, you do whatever you can to achieve your dreams. You work hard, you learn, you research. I mean, learning is a huge part for our family. Um, and I think that's really what helps me. But yeah, ever since I was a kid, it's been ingrained in us to just do whatever you can to achieve your goals. All right, Matt, you better watch out. I know. We're your yeah. Yankees. The Red Sox have some girl hired. power. I, I would rather she be hired for the Yankees, but, I you know, know, good for her, good for Boston, I guess. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Corinne. Mm -hmm.